Well, I do try and be as fair as I can here on my channel, and it's fair to say a lot of anger um, from many of you who watch my channel in terms of the Conservative uh, government. But something that should be welcomed uh, was this vote yesterday in Parliament on the retained EU law and revocation and reform bill, the third reading uh, passed, voted for uh, by MPs. The reality of this bill is that it's delivering on the promise of Brexit, but also the practicalities of what that means for this country. The truth is, when people went and vote, voted for Brexit across this country in a large majority, especially at the last election, what we found was that people wanted to use, as the phrase has been uh, referenced uh, a lot today, about taking back control. Well, there's no greater taking back control than being able to have politicians and MPs in this place and the government that they've elected to be able to decide on the laws and make sure that they are being implemented. Now, we've talked a lot today about the idea that this is somehow a burden or a bonfire of, uh, of rights. Actually, what we see through the government, and I saw it myself uh, last year, was an absolute passion by this government and this Conservative Party to make sure that workers' rights are at the heart of what we do. This is the sort of stuff the government should be getting on and doing. I mean, we saw some ludicrous reports that apparently civil servants, what are they playing at? We're trying to get Rishi Sunak to delay a bonfire of EU laws until 2026. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. Now, we may still see some extensions thrown out. Who knows? Uh, but Mog, of course, Jacob Rees Mogg, one of those who's actually urged the government to just get on with this. And MPs voting for this, Conservative MPs voting this through, uh, passes the House of Commons, voted for all by the House of Commons, uh, meaning. The plan will go forward now to get rid of all remaining EU laws still on the statute books by the end of this year. So they'll either be scrapped or reformed by the end of this year. The retained EU law bill passing by 59 votes. And that, of course, is one of the benefits of you know, Brexiteers having given the Conservatives a big majority. It's just a shame they haven't used it more effectively, much more quickly. But on this now, this now heads to the House of Lords. There'll be many there, I'm sure, uh, seeking to slow this down or even stop this. One of those welcoming uh, this bill was the Conservative MP Sir James Dudridge, pointing out the retained EU law bill will enable us to take back control of our laws and give democratic authority back to Parliament. As I said, I'm wary. Potentially there'll be another extension thrown in. Hopefully not. Uh, but this is what Sir James Dudridge had to say about the bill, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Indeed. I thank the Honourable Lady for giving way. Um, I'm sure the Honourable Lady will remember being on the back benches and sitting in SIs, uh, where we had no ability whatsoever to change the legislation going through because it was driven by the European Union. This is about taking back control and giving democratic authority uh, to this place. Um, and furthermore, on things like maternity leave, minimum wage, annual leave, product safety and international regulations, we're already doing better than EU minimum standards, and this government's going to promise to keep those standards and indeed, in many cases, increase them. My friend is absolutely right. There's been a lot of misinformation about the environment DEFRA has committed to maintaining or enhancing standards. My right, my friend, is right. We have very little say as the decisions taken over in Brussels, but now, within this bill, those decisions that are taken by devolved, the devolved authorities will remain devolved. So actually, you have a say. So why would you want to give that power away?